everyone, it is Danielle from Cool Science Experiments Headquarters. I have a great science experiment for you today. We are going to hear sound, but we're also going to see sound. How is that possible? That is a great question, and I'm going to show you in just a minute. Are you ready? Yeah! Let's get started. To start the experiment, you are going to begin with an empty bowl. Then, you're going to take some saran wrap and you're going to tear off a piece so it's big enough to cover the top of the bowl. You're going to take the saran wrap and you're going to place it on top of the bowl. You're going to make sure the saran wrap is very tight on the bowl. The most important thing with the saran wrap is that you get it very tight across the top of the bowl. So take your time when you're positioning it. Once you have it tight, you're ready to move on to the next step. This is where you're going to take some uncooked rice and you're going to pour about a teaspoonful on the top of the saran wrap. Once the rice is on the saran wrap, you're going to take a metal tin and use a cookie sheet, or in my case, it's an 8 by 11 pan, and you're going to position it close to the bowl. The important thing is that, that you're holding it in the air, and then again, that it's very close to the bowl itself. Now, I'm going to give my son a metal spoon, and what he's going to do is he's going to hit the metal plate, metal tin, and we are going to hear the sound, and we're also going to see something happen. So can you tell me why when I bang on the metal pan, the rice moves? Leave a comment below to submit your guess, and then visit CoolScienceExperimentsHeadquarters.com to find out the answer. You'll be able to print out instructions for this experiment, and you'll find videos on more science experiments that you can do at home too. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we will see you next time. We hope you enjoyed the experiment. Click the button to sign up for our free email. Then we will send you a fun new experiment each week. See you next time.